What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw 4 TV. So before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to uh, Michael Quaglia for the $50 donation via the PayPal. Here's a note saying for YouTube videos, Steph is not top five. LeBron's Mafia gets butt hurt, and the All Star game is garbage. Absolutely. I don't disagree with any of those viewpoints, man. Um, and that's not distant step to say he's not top five. I don't know why people think that you're hating on him by saying he's not top five. I do believe that he's a top three all-time point guard. I do agree that he's probably a top 20 all-time player. But to say top five? No. The GOAT point guard? No. No. Oh, let's 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 get some 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 balance and some historical perspective here. So <clears throat> I waited to talk about this because I gave LeBron James the benefit of the doubt. You guys may recall on my Two Raw for Sports channel, and I think a little bit on my Two Raw Media channel as well. I talked about how it was funny that LeBron James. Did not seem to participate much in the All-Star game. He played 13 minutes, the first 13 minutes, I believe. Or at least 13 of the first 15 or 16 minutes, something like that. He was clearly going for the MVP at first. But he sat, right? And I theorized, okay, dude just said, all right, look, I ain't getting the MVP. These other dudes is cooking. It ain't meant in the cards for me. I'm not playing. But then it was pointed out by many that on one of his breakaway seizure dunks, as Angry Fo Hoops fans put it, because <laughs> it's funny, LeBron puts all this energy in those breakaway dunks. He did seem to land awkwardly. So maybe he did get hurt because it was reported that he suffered some ankle injury in the, in the All-Star game. And presumably it was that dunk where he landed awkwardly, he kind of winced. And then he wouldn't be playing against the Warriors. So I said, okay, maybe this is a legitimate injury. But lo and behold, he plays against the San Antonio Spurs. One of the worst teams in the NBA. So now, you know, I, I get back to thinking, okay, Maybe he did the same thing he did last year, which was as soon as he broke the scoring record, he mysteriously and coincidentally hurts his foot. I mean, immediately he grabs at his foot after he breaks the scoring record. Like, we're stupid fucking idiots. And then he takes a, what, a two-week sabbatical, pretty much. A two-week self-celebratory, self-jerk-off uh, uh, session. Celebrated that game, celebrated the next game, celebrated during the All-Star break, celebrated the Super Bowl, the parties, goats, you know, dildos, whatever the fuck. This year, remember he took off the game before. The All-Star break ended. And he takes off the game before he comes back. Now I'm starting to wonder if that little breakaway dunk where he grabs, you know, sort of like he was in Grimace in the pain, maybe that was fake. Maybe that was to fake an injury so that he had an excuse to sit out the rest of that All-Star game. Because, as I said before, he really didn't have a chance at winning the MVP. And once again, we were correct about him being a fake motherfucker. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm pulling the shot out of my ass. It's, it's him. I mean, damn. Like, how do you not see this shit? But then, you know... The, at the same time, whenever LeBron James, the last few years, this has been the case. Really since he's been with L.A. 
He now has these built-in excuses for why the team fails or why he didn't reach a certain uh, milestone or, or, or not milestone, an accomplishment. Whenever someone says, okay, well, the Lakers didn't do this or he didn't do that, his fans and the defenders in the media can say, well, he's been suffering or dealing with this such and such injury. What do you expect? He's in year 21. He's 39, which is true on many levels, absolutely. My thing is, though, he can't be treated as the best player in the NBA. I'll be excuse me, not the best player in the NBA, but he can be treated as the best player on the team. But then whenever there's some criticism, people are going to bring up how long he's been playing or how his age or whatever. But when he has a great game, he's still the best player on the team. He's still top three in the NBA. That shit is just annoying. At some point, it's just that you don't, he don't want to take, and his fans don't want him to take any criticism. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that one, man. I don't believe that he's hurt. Seriously, anyway. I think he's dealing with the average wear and tear injuries that a player of his age have to deal with. But, you know, it's always a built-in excuse. You know, I heard at the beginning of this year, this is the healthiest that he's been since shit. What did they say? His Miami Heat years. Something like that. This is the healthiest LeBron's been in at least five or uh, at least six, seven years. Now all of a sudden, same old deal. Foot injury, ankle injury, groin injury. It's always something. When it's convenient from the missed games, you know? Because as we all know, he's one of the few players that are exempt from um you know, penalties when it comes to, you know, low bandages. So, it is what it is.